Hello everybody, welcome to Video Games Awesome Live. We're checking out the Project Spark open beta. It just came, went live today. What's the Project Spark? You don't I remember, don't eh? I don't know what a Project Spark is. No, I don't remember. When the pro, when Xbox, I think it was this last year's E3 that they debuted it, I think. And it was kind of like, um, create your own world type of game. Oh. It's like a sandbox kind of like, I don't know. Maybe Little Big Planet ish, but not really at all. Okay. It's like a god simulator, but not really at all. It's like, I don't know how to describe it, but you can make your own levels, you can make your own game modes within it. You can do all kinds of crazy crap. And it looks oh, spark. really it's good neat. good to see you ready to travel the universe. Oh, it's a character. Whoa. Spark is a guy. All of these worlds made by others just like you. Well, Isn't this like your trying to so much to galaxy? explore? I don't know. Yeah, maybe so a little much bit. to create. No. The universe is waiting for you to bring it to life. It's like if you do too good a job, people will be unsure you're doing the anything at all. Yet to be told. The games to be made. There you go. Civilizations and societies to be formed. So. What kind of spark are you? Uh, Player, creator, Kirby or Kirby Spark? Ah, uh, but whatever you choose, there's a universe of possibilities. I'm Posh Spark. Now, <laughs> how do we begin? It's like the beginning of um. Eddie, every time teacher says, any time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's the beginning. That was really awkward. <laughs> that was fun to let you just kind of do that. <laughs> do it again. Fuck you. <laughs> Every time a bell rings. It's so you're, what you're getting at is that it's like a, it's a wonderful life. Yeah, it's a wonderful life. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it, Becky. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was really interesting. <laughs> uh, I'm a, I am kind of excited about this. It's something fresh and new. It's not often you get to pop the top off something that's like kind of not like anything else. And that's what I think this is. Hmm. Uh, it was in closed beta just a little bit ago. I signed up for it, but I didn't get in. Now, how do we begin? I don't know. I know. Use these portals to get started. Oh, what? I play Crossroads or learn to... Cr well, Which one should I do? Create. Yeah, you'd think learn to create, but I think play Crossroads actually shows you a bit more of what the game actually is first. Yes, I'll sign in. Choose this person. I've got all the Xbox points. You're pretty hot in that this picture. Menu. Won't want to miss. Make choices and play as you create your own adventure. Of course, but what should we explore? What you just you make the decisions for me. Let's let me play the game. <laughs> too much, too many questions. Shall we begin at the beginning? Yeah. Canyons. Okay. Oh, you want me to? Yeah. Click I... other choices or switch choices on the highlighted choice to select. <laughs> Click other choices to switch choices. Click on highlighted choice to select. This is funny to me. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Uh. And then valley height. Oh, I want a deep valley. What the fuck? Oh, it's redrawing the valve. I don't want it that deep. Yeah, that's scary. Actually. Too much. I'd like it to be like hikeable. You know, a comfortable hike. Well, then that should be like that. Yeah. Oh, hey. You're making it too shallow. It has some. It's very different from when it started. I don't know what. Canyon width. Oh, here we go. You want it wider or. 
Like, I don't even know what I'm doing this for. No. Peak height. Yikes. No, not too hot. Too much. Hike water height. Valley height. What's your water height? Oh, that's what you're shooting right now. You're such ass, Mark. Well, what couldn't... a picture you paint. Splendiferous forest? How do I switch to Arctic and desert? I don't think it's... A desert? Oh. Oh, you yeah. can that. I love the swirls and everything. What do you like, forest? Splendiferous yeah, forest? For sure. Splendiferous? I'm not that whimsical. Hey, you know who made up a lot of words? Um, Dr. Zeus? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you want dense nature or not dense nature? Middle dense nature. That was middle dense. Now that's dense. Oh, dense, dense. Okay. I like that. Water height, shore material height. What's that all about? Oh. Like how high should the shore okay, go? Okay, like the barnacles and all that crap. Probably low, yeah. right? Maybe a little higher than that. I was actually going to say Shakespeare, Dr. Curtis. I wasn't going to say <laughs> uh, Dr. Z. That looks nice. Peak material height? What kind of... Okay, so that's where it'll start. Oh, okay. Let's see what these peaks become. Whoa! Snowy. That doesn't really that doesn't make feel sense. right. Whatever. I'm whimsical. It's a whimsy, fancy free type game. See, what time is it? Morning. Oh, look at I'm adjusting the sun position according to like where we are in the world. Sun angle. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah. I love not knowing how this is relevant at all. If even. Weird. Like, why can I choose these things? I don't get it. Huh. Uh, sun angle. Okay, so. At fading day, Ooh. up noon, morning. As I like light opens. noon is easier on my face. I think right now, and yeah. it kind of matches what we're like the nice blues that we're wearing. Yeah. So let's. That will shed some light on things. Ah, a world of your own. Whoa! Whoa! So even Retrieve though, an item of great importance. So we get to choose the game mode too. Weird. So it created the world for us to play the game in. Um, okay. It's neat because what I created, what we just saw there, that little, por that was just a portion. We were just giving it parameters, and yeah. it built an entire world based on that. That's cool. Kind of like if you could tell Minecraft before you begin exactly what kind of biomes you wanted or something. Yeah. Adventure. Build a town coming soon. Find a desired item. Defend against an approaching horde. Oh, Find something smart. of value. That's the worst description for adventure I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. What do you say, Bilbo? Do you want to find something of value? <laughs> no. No, leave me alone, Gandalf. <laughs> Let's go looking for something of value. We'll cash it in. I'll be able to pay my rent next month. <laughs> Ready to brick ground on your town? Okay. Yeah. Where do you want it? Um, It'll chop down all the trees around, so... Coast... Coastal town? Mm. This is a nice spot. It's on an inlet. Yeah, let's do that spot. Okay. It's building the town. He just built a bunch of parts. What lies at the heart of this village? Ooh. Go out on a limb with this sacred tree? This guy has all kinds of Riker sass to his voice. Oh, yeah. A celebration. What do you think? Is this the truth? Or just a clever ruse made up by our writers? <laughs> a sacred tree. Did anybody ever watch that show? We should watch A magnificent shrine. 
What do you want? Go out on a That's limb probably with you, this right? sacred right tree. But what about the Festival of Merriment? Festival looks pretty fun. Sacred tree is very like Minecraft. -y. Festival then, of Merriment. That looks Animal lame Crossing. though. All those that looks dirty and like, Animal Crossing. A sacred, sacred tree. tree? Yeah. Yeah. Now you're barking up the right tree. Who ventures forth as hero? A brave ranger? Whoa, you're fucking cool. Not your typical goblin, I'd say. Carl Snore. <laughs> eh, 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 he's trying to hard. Avenger <laughs> a knight? Let's go with Scarlet. She figure thinks she's the coolest. So I'm each a have tributes. Avenger? Kacon is high defense. A brave Ranger? Ranger? For the range in attacking. Wait, what? Nerves of steel. The goblin? The goblin has a high offense, low defense, so he's like a berserker. A yeah. ranger? A terrifying Alright, so I'm gonna... Making a mark on the world. So, your hero reeks, uh... Seeks. Hey, where'd the girl go? Oh, I, here I am. Objective marker. Tap, hold, show focus. LT. Okay. Attacking. Press X to attack. Hold X for a charge shot. Charge shots can be used to gather your Kodite Caltrops into devastating Kodite Snipe. I am so confused right now. So this is just practice. Press Y button to use Kodite Caltrops to use enemies to keep enemies at a distance. Hold Y to collect Caltrops into Kodite. Whoa! Jumping and dodging. Press the A button to jump. Press A button midair to double jump. Yeah. Uh, press B button to drop Kodak Caltrops. Still don't know what those yeah. are. And dodge backwards or hold B and release to drop a decoy for a quick escape. They look like they're those crystals that you're dropping, but I don't really know if they power you or what. There's my decoy. <laughs> Just dances. It seems that doing it twice makes the decoy explode after that. Let's see, watch this. The original exploded? Yeah, the original explode. or no, I don't know. Alright, what's this? Press Y button to keep enemies- okay. I don't know if I need to know all this right now, but I'm afraid that it'll go away if I go talk to that guy right now. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go talk to the guy now. Yeah, I'm just dropping these Caltrops everywhere, eh? Yeah, then you have to suck them back up. Your meters haven't changed from what I can Maybe tell. Maybe because tutorial. Hey, yeah. dude. Are you ready to begin your adventure? No, I have a few more things to do first. Or yes, A. The selections are like way over. Yes is behind Becky. And then way over on the right. <laughs> I'll say yes. That'll have to wait. Looks like we're under attack. Oh, that is Keep the your adventure, enemies though. Close, but <laughs> maybe not this close. Squirrels. A band of not so merry men. <laughs> That's hilarious, though. Um, <laughs> no time for adventure. The adventure's beginning. <laughs> uh, bandits. A pack of squirrels. Oh damn! Oh man! <laughs> man, they're total assholes. A brazen <laughs> band. Of they do look like drag. total assholes. A scurry. Either way, that's a lot of squirrels. <laughs> a band of the living dead? Well, that seems like the obvious choice, doesn't it? Well, yeah. Why would I want to fight humans when I can fight zombies who are much easier than humans to fight? Mm -hmm. Viewing an item or pack allows you to see additional details. Content packs allow you to see what was created and includes a nick, a link, <laughs> for you to try the showcase level. Zombie outbreak in the marketplace. 
Uh, a sinister mist rolls over the hills and the breed of monster zombies. So this is sort of like, I'm guessing, a freemium type game then? Is that as you add content, you just buy content to add on. It seems like it, hey? So, can I buy, did they give me, they gave me buy more tokens. You do not have, show me token offers. Oh, so this open beta is not just open beta. It's like open pay for beta. Uh, like go ahead and go ahead and start giving us money while we're still developing it and I guess that's okay I suppose I don't know <laughs> just weird you'd think that beta if you're beta testing it should be free yeah. so if I press preview showcase no what no we don't want our progress to be lost I don't understand that yeah this is a showcase so if I were to buy it it would also say Included items is a male zombie, a rot pile, a sludge stream, sludge impact, sludge fall, impact sludge, all these... Um. So pretty much I think how this works is I'm buying a level that Microsoft has developed, some sort of an adventure where a zombies attack and you have to fight them off. But it comes along with all the assets that are included in, in it. So because I'm buying this zombie pack, and after this, after I'm done playing it and I've grown bored of it, I can now use zombies in my own creations. So you're not oh, just you buying so? the game. Okay. You're buying the mini game. You're buying the mini game plus all the stuff that's used in the mini game to make your own stuff. Okay. So it's kind of like your. I don't know how to compare it. I guess kind of like if Little Big Planet. Imagine a Little Big Planet where you had to buy every level. And once you bought the next level, like that, that you know, the weird ladies level with all the little bugs in it, you would get access to all the bugs to be able to build your own levels. Yeah. But what I'm not understanding here is why does saying preview showcase cause me to need to abandon what I have? I would imagine that this would also, it would also say exit game if I bought with tokens. Everything you can buy, you can unlock with credits that you unlock by playing the game. So like. So how do I just play the those, game without buying it right now? Or just go back. Oh, how do you what? A brazen evil undead. Oh, so because it has that little thing there, it means this is Money. something you have to buy. Yeah. But if I play Bandits, Bandits for a while, I might just be able to unlock this dead. anyways? A brazen band of bandits? Okay, I'm starting to maybe understand. They were trouble when they walked in. Ready to ramble? Right. Or rumble? Well, I don't want to buy zombies. I want to buy squirrels. squirrels. <laughs> hey, what the fuck up my town? I just built this fucking town. It, yeah, really impressive, dickhead. Stop it. I don't know how to fight yet. Save, Save us. us. You fight back then. How do you stuff up the shard? Uh, you press and roll something or whatnot. Seems pretty intuitive. I think. Keep doing it. It's possible that this guy just sucks at hey, attacking. I mean, that, that guy's. Coin. The guy over there is just uh, waiting for me. Yeah, maybe they're not very smart. Maybe this is how they were taught to fight. Yeah. Okay, so it says down here we have two coins. Your hero has done well. I'll go check on my neighbors. Objective marker. Okay. I'll go check on my neighbors. Uh, how's everybody who didn't help? You guys doing okay? I'm, I wouldn't want the non-helping with bandit attack people to have been hurt. We'll need you for future um, not helping with bandit attack missions. Yeah, jerks. Bandits have burned our sacred tree. There's only one thing that can save us now. Ch let me choose? What challenge is your hero after? The mystery the meat is the only thing meat? that can save our tree. I would like to not a have suspicious the mystery. <laughs> a hunk of meat. A shiny magic apple? The flesh yeah, of a legendary beast? A valued elixir? A hunk of meat. He's gonna give you the run. A strong tonic? A hunk of rotting meat? It might work wonders. 
A hunk of meat. A valued elixir. A hunk of rotting meat? <laughs> it might work wonders. The flesh of a legendary beast. Uh, I think Go to Magic Apple again. A tasty fruit. A I'm hunk of kinda, meat. I want to know what the meat is now. Alright. <laughs> like the way he sold it is really... Yeah, see, they want to know too. <laughs> Mystery meat. Well, rot does bring out the flavor. Then, okay, so... The mystery meat can only be found in one place. Where will your hero go? A quarry? A druid? Group? Among mysterious druids? A rock quarry? Doesn't sound that fun. Knocking won't get you into this fort. Which one do you like, Buggy? Druid crow. Crow. A quarry? An ancient druid ritual? Where in the world will you be? I'll be there. Pay, placing the journey's end. Press A to con Oh, okay, so like, we just, so weird, you're customizing. I'll just put it here, that's fine. Don't disturb the druids. All paths lead. Yes, I forgot to mention, by exploring, playing, and creating, you'll earn energy that will grow your powers. So don't just see, do. That's weird. What's this part? What am I doing right now? Road to glow. I'm constructing the road to get there. Oh, seriously. Look at this. Whoa! But where am I drawing it to? Way out there? I, I want to make big bridges. It's just a beeline. <laughs> <laughs> Most bridges possible. That's fun. That's neat. All that begins yeah. ends. Often badly, of course. Shit, there's lots of coins there. You where? See them? Along the bridge. Sweet. You will find. Don't forget to use teleporters to come back and visit. Uh, I just thought you lost my immersion in this fantasy atmosphere. Teleporters. All right. I still don't know that what Kodite Caltrops are. They confuse me. Is this an outhouse? This town sucks. Yeah, guys. Let's let's go. What are those question marks, though? Uh, I think they're places to build. Yeah, what's this guy? Hey, I just we picked him up. I think <laughs> whatever it was. Where does your hero go? Yeah, home? a oh, sweet okay. little hut. <gasps> Do you want a house? A towering windmill. Ooh. A modest abode. A house high in the trees. Oh, forest hut! You'll need to go out on a limb. Oh, wow. Didn't he already use that? Private property, travelers of the desert, not what? I just built this house! You motherfuckers! Alright, let's go to the druid place. Yeah. This town's teleporter. This is the town's teleporter. If I can find more teleport. Oh. Teleporters in the world, I can use it? Yeah, I guess. I think by bri building bridges, I probably just created a lot of coins for myself. Yeah, man. Should have built way more bridges, like, super roundabout. No, I don't want to go back to town, I just got out here. What's this? Holy teleporters, Batman. Are you a baddie? I think he is. Uh oh! No! Oh. Cool. How's that feel? It sounds good. Yeah, but I'm not very powerful with that attack. I think I should just do this. <laughs> Is he drowning? Can I have his points? Can you get on those lily pads? Which lily out there? So. Nice. Can I swim? Yes. Cool. Which that place? Oh. Okay. What? No, I walk across the bridge. Oh, okay. I'm just wondering where that thing to the left of the other side of the bridge is. See over to the left up there. What is that stuff? Bombs. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Suck up your druids, all your druids. Oh, they 
I did not. I don't know. Yes, I'm holding Y. Okay. This way to Druid Cove. But who guards the guards? I decided to place an ambush here for me to fight. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do this many. Guards? What did he just say? The others must be on break. <laughs> many guards? Many. I assume Danger is your middle name? What did you know? <laughs> no, it's Reckless Abandon. Oh, I forgot. Phrase of Danger sounds way cooler, though. Oh my god. That is such a cool name. Get way more points then for fighting all these guys. Holy shit! Yeah. Oh, sorcerer! I gotta go get the sorcerer first. I don't know how to change targets, but I think I just. I don't even know. Oh yeah, maybe. Also stupid. <laughs> yeah. The strategies aren't that great. And mine are genius. Oh, they're a little glitchy there. Um. It's a beta. You filled off your health meter somehow. Oh, thank you. So shooting a normal attack like that sends out my little crystals and then sucking them in again. I'm not sure exactly how the system works yet. Oh, there's one kind of brute guy. Oh, you got him. Oh, they're fucked up. Not that tough with my knives. Where are you going? Treating like coward. Nothing stands between the hero and triumph, except a shelled guardian. Boss battle. Perhaps a black knight. A grade A guardian. A foul-tempered goblin king. A shelled guardian. Which one's best? Foul tempered, a grade Force A fields. guardian, a foul tempered goblin king, a shelled guardian, eggs. He's yeah. got eggs. A foul tempered goblin king. This one's got hocus pocus to throw. A grade A guardian. Interesting. One has Finesse. finesse. The a other has foul nimbleness. Foul tempered goblin king. The other guy has a shelled um, guardian. A knight oh no, ready to strike know. fear in their foes. This one has nimbleness. A grade A goblin. Just be. You know when they say there will be a test? Invulnerable. Here it is. Oh, I gotta destroy the things. Those are fragile, he says. Ah, oh, you broke my generators. I feel dizzy. This is really loud. Yeah. Fixed his generators. It's so loud. You have one point over to the right, and you have 
Oh, I don't care. I'm afraid of losing this. Oh, the, the noise is hurting my head. Yeah. Maybe that's what battle actually sounds like. Oh. Oh, my head. how after you collect something, just a little smoke ring of it stays and kind of mm -hmm. disappears. Yeah, meat. Don't tarry. That meat is done. Give me a second here. I feel like, um, where'd the remote go? We've been using a new TV and I feel like it looks washed out up here, but I think that's just because that one's really super saturated. Hmm. It also has like, I want less sharpness. I think that feels a bit better. Okay. So we have 32 coins that we can do something with, maybe. Uh, I don't, I haven't seen a person who buys coin or takes coins for services or goods yet. Yeah, maybe. Uh, my objective is, Back home. You can teleport her back home. Okay. It's oh. behind you. <laughs> uh, teleporters are also like every five seconds. Yeah, so. that's true. I'm home. Lovely day. Found the mystery meat. The village <laughs> the is Restored the sacred tree and brought peace back to your village. Why not? It's a carnivorous Congratulations. tree. Congratulations! Well done! So that gave me 1600 points? Does that mean that I have like... The zombie pack was only 500 points, I think. If, this is, if they're the same type of points. Exiting to save screen. Congratulations, you made you made your first Crossroads game. Don't forget to come back and try all the options you haven't seen yet. Maybe beat new challenges while you're at it, why not? So, I, I can name that adventure. We can add tags to it. In a way, I think what they're trying to say here is that we've just created our first game. Yeah. And that we could upload this as VGA Fraser's first... I'll add a tag and I'll call it like, oh, I have to choose from pre-made. Well, you guys can or do you? I don't think you search it. No, no, that's just to browse it quicker. Oh, gotcha. Well, that's good enough. VGA Frasers. You guys can go find that if you want to play my adventure. How did it? Oh. And I'm saving. Because your it name now. is VGA Fraser. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh, up there it says 300 out of 600 something I have, and I still have zero spark bricks, so I didn't earn real points. I didn't earn their currency to buy me zombies yet. Mm. I don't know how to earn those yet, but they said that you can just earn them. Through the game? Yeah. Uh... I think it just saved it to the power of the cloud. I think over here, there was a little description of what you had created. Like oh. a little summary. Oh. Have you tried the first ever entirely remixable interactive video experience, Guilty All the Same, from Linkin Park yet? What? Linkin Park's associated with this? Somehow? Guilty All the Same. Here's something you won't want to miss. That'll get flagged. Oh. All right, when we come back, we're going to see what else you can do with Project Spark. It seems there's a lot of stuff we still don't understand, so 
Video Games Awesome Live continues with Project Spark is Awesome after the break.